What's going on guys and welcome back to the Spark Mining YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be telling you the best possible coin that you should be mining right now and that is Monero. Monero just recently forked off the ASIC chain so they are staying ASIC resistance. Let me tell you why you should be mining Monero right now. It's on the Kryptonite algorithm. It's super easy on your cards. And my mining farm right now is making about... 11,000 to 12,000 kilohash or mega hash across the board. Okay, so if I go over to here, you can see my kilohash is 11.69, and that's just two of my mining rigs right now. So you go over to what to mine, right? But well, that's coin market. You go over to, to what to mine. I put in my hash rate of 11,600 hashes a second, and I calculate it out, which I'm mining it right now. I'm getting a revenue of $23.24 a day, a day, right? In April, April 8th, 2018, my GPU mining profits are back. So after a $3.13 power cost, I'm profiting $20.11 a day mining Monero. So how do you mine Monero? All right, well, on simple mining, we'll go to rig groups. Come up here, go to add a group. Click on the Claymore 11.3 Kryptonite, select Miner, you can call it Monero King, right, because we get our profits back, and then Miner Options, okay? Then Miner Options, this is what you're going to change. I mine through Mining Pool Hub, so wherever you mine through, you'll be able to use the same settings, okay? So Mining Pool Hub, I take this, and you just copy it. So you copy this right here, go back to simple mining, and right here, you're going to paste it. So this is now, I've got the XPool, Stratum, TCP, US East, Kryptonite Hub, Mining Pool Hub, i got the port number right. Well in front of the XPool, you're going to do XPOW7, 1, in space. This is going to let it know that you're wanting to engage on the Monero 7 algorithm. So you have that done. And now you're going to put in your, your wallet address and then your rig name. For me, it's just my uh, worker name setup that I have through Mining Pool Hub. And then it's my Mining Pool Hub dot worker. And then you have your worker password and then your endpoint settings. So then you'll just do the add group. And then you'll come back over here to your rig list. And then you'll click on your rig, you'll go up to assign group. So you click your rig, you go to assign group, and then that new group that you just added, as long as you add in your wallet address, like if you use Mining Pool Hub, which is going to be your Mining Pool Hub account name, dot worker, and then your password, etc. You click the new one, Monero King, right? And then you'll click save, and then it'll reload and start mining on the kryptonite algorithm which is the Monero fort. So let me just show you right here in the console window. We are mining Monero and we've been mining it for 53 minutes. I wanted to make sure that it was a stable settings that I had. And you can see each one of my cards are getting a, a kilohash each except for GPU 6 which is the MK2 armor that I have. These are our, all RX 580 cards. MK2 armor that I have has micron memory so you can see it's I thought it was performing better than the Samsung. It is not. By far, it is not performing better. If you want to, I can go ahead and show you my overclock settings. I have 1300 on the core. You have to have your core because it is a core intensive uh, algorithm. Memory, you don't really have to worry about. So, I mean, don't really worry about the memory right now. Core is what's going to be important. But if you want to, you can save it and you can try to use these settings for yourself. <clears throat> but, Monero, $23.24 a day. GPU profits are back. Don't let them haters tell you that mining is dead. Mining is not dead. You should be on Monero mining it if you were trying to make a profit. It's on the same algorithm as Electronium, so if you want to, you can switch between Monero half the day, Electronium the other half the day. Your hash rates are going to be the same across the board. You can mine it on 2 gigabyte cards, 4 gigabyte cards, 8 gigabyte cards. My hash rate is on RX 580s, and I'm pulling almost seven kilohash on seven card, or seven kilohash on seven cards. 
uh, Vega 56 and Vega 64 is pull what two kilo hash and they people were going crazy about them And I'm doing this on RX 580s So I am now getting my profits back on GPU mining mining Monero I just showed you how to set it up through simple mining Using a mining pool hub address, you know, I don't that's the pools that I use That's the ones that I I can trust on If you have different pools just plug in your pool the same way that I did it and you'll be good to go but with that being said, Monero, mine it, $23 a day. GPU profits are back. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Be on the lookout for new content coming out every day. Crypto news, mining rigs, computer builds, trying to play some Fortnite. I suck at it, but I'm going to play it anyway. Check out Brandon at Brandon Coin. Also, Crypto Warrior, he's got a channel. Go check him out. I'm going to link his channel down below. He's a guy, he's just starting out, he's building his rigs up, you know, he's talking about different crypto things, like his opinions on it, how he got into crypto, he ain't got a lot of subscribers, go over to his channel, check him out, subscribe to him, you know, watch his videos, he's a chill dude, he's got chill music playing, go check him out, and that is going to be it, peace.